The convertible free motion foot set is four free motion feet in one. Swap out the different soles for various types of free motion sewing. The foot height can be adjusted perfectly for all fabric thicknesses. Some people are distracted by the hopping of a standard darning foot. The convertible free motion foot does not hop, but rather glides over the surface of the fabric, eliminating the sometimes bothersome hopping movement. Included are a standard closed sole, an open toe sole, an echo quilting sole, and a ruler sole. To change the soles, remove the screw on the back of the foot. Slide off the sole and slide on another sole and tighten the screw. If you cannot get the screw to tighten, use the adjusting wheel to raise the bracket up slightly so that the sole can fully slide onto the shaft of the foot. To attach the convertible free motion quilting foot to your machine, remove the current presser foot and shank and screw on the convertible free motion foot. Lower or cover the feed dogs or set the stitch length to zero. Place your quilt or stabilized fabric under the presser foot and lower the foot. Use the adjustment wheel to raise or lower the foot until the sole is just skimming the surface of the fabric. The fabric should slide effortlessly under the foot, but the foot must be low enough to still make contact with the fabric. If stitches are skipping, set the foot lower. Select the straight stitch. If you are using matching thread in top and bobbin for quilting, your upper thread tension should be left at normal. If you are using a decorative thread on the top for something such as thread painting, loosen your upper thread tension by about two numbers to keep the bobbin thread from being drawn to the top of the fabric. Sew at a medium speed, gently maneuvering the fabric for even stitching. The standard closed sole is best used for perfect stitch formation. The consistent pressure around the small needle opening helps stitches to form tightly. Here we are doing a design called stippling or meandering. This technique is used to fill in areas giving texture to your quilt design. You can use the closed toe sole for most other free motion techniques as well. The open toe sole is great for use for better visibility on stable fabrics and when there is not a risk of catching one of the toes in an open weave of the fabric or another layer of fabric embellishment. To easily follow the design printed on the fabric, the open toe sole is terrific to use in this instance. The open toe sole is also ideal to use when free motion thread painting or thread sketching. The echo quilting sole is used to make echo lines around a shape. The lines on the sole provide a consistent guide to follow. There are vertical and horizontal markings to show you the needle's position and two circular lines giving you two different distance options for echo quilting. You can also use the echo quilting sole with a zigzag stitch for thread painting. Also choose the echo quilting sole with its beveled rim when working with a variety of fabric types and textures within a quilt block. It is ideal for gliding over uneven levels of fabrics or trims. The clear sole is also ideal for seeing where you are stitching. Echo quilting is a great way to add additional interest to quilting motifs. We used a quilting template to trace this star with an air soluble marker. We suggest adding the protruding lines at the tips and corners when using linear designs. They help you know where to stop to change direction. You can also echo quilt using designs printed on your fabric.
The echo quilting sole can be used with a full zigzag width of your machine. For people who love to embellish, this gives you full creative reign to your free motion sewing, whether you are filling in areas with texture or doing a monogram as shown here. The echo quilting sole does so much more than just echo quilting. The ruler sole allows you to do free motion work with acrylic rulers, templates that help you sew straight or curved patterns accurately. The round shape keeps you at a consistent one quarter inch distance all the way around the ruler, no matter which direction you are sewing. One note about the ruler sole, if you cannot get the foot on the presser bar, either remove the presser bar screw completely or just use the adjusting wheel on the foot to slightly lower the sole so there is more room for the larger ruler sole to pass. Don't feel limited to using the soles as we have suggested them here. With the exception of the ruler sole, which is necessary for butting up against a ruler, the soles can be used however you see fit. Whichever you feel most comfortable using, by all means, use that sole. The convertible free motion foot set is available for all brands of sewing machines at thecolorfulworldofsewing.com. Also look for our other products to make free motion quilting easier, such as the Sew Steady Tables, Supreme Slider 2 Slippery Free Motion Mat, and the free motion guide grip. They are among the hundreds of products we carry to make your sewing look better and to help you have more joy in what you create. The Colorful World of Sewing.com